Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. And yes, I am behind the phone slash camera. Um, just so you guys know, I'm doing one of those handheld videos because what I'm about to share with you, I was inspired by Lindsay Love here on YouTube. She did like her, now this is not a top vendor video, but I started off doing a few vendors, like kind of showing you my collections for each vendor, but things have grown exponentially. So, and with Rose Girls, I think I'm good for a little bit. So I, did, I wanted to film this video because I think what I have is what I've got for a little bit. I'm, I'm not doing any pre-orders at the moment. So um, likely this is what I'm going to have unless I decide to get more of the mini melters. But I was inspired by Lindsay Love. She was doing a video. I mean, hers was a top vendor video, but um, I, it was inspired me to like do Rose Girls. Cause I was thinking, oh my gosh, I gotta do Rose Girls. Cause well, like everything else is still growing. So anyway, with that being said, I'm going to show you kind of what I've purchased here, the shapes and the sizes and kind of what are the thoughts on them and, and that are. Um, and then I'm going to show you what's inside this big, big Tupperware bin of Rose Girls. It is 100% Rose Girls behind this bin. So uh, with that said, you can probably tell that I really enjoy Rose Girls. So Rose Girls, uh, Jenny Oaks is the owner and operator and uh, like everywhere, you should probably follow their Facebook page and she doesn't post too often um, on Instagram. Normally it's only when she's got, you know, a new, um, like a pre-order or something like that. Now her site is open 24 seven, it's RG Wax. But right now it's mini melters only. Um, the, she'll tell and make announcements on Facebook, pay, her Facebook group, telling when she'll do pre-orders and so on. So you'd still go to that website and do all of that. But right now it's mini melters. She has two different um, topics on mini melters. She's got like the classic staples that are always going to be there and the seasonal ones. And then in the seasonal ones, it'll say how long it's open till. I think right now her mini melters um, from the time I'm filming this until uh, December 31st, whatever she has for seasonal is going to be up there throughout the holiday season. So, all right. With that being said, I'm going to kind of pan over really briefly. Um, I've been purchasing from Rose Girls now, I would say seven months. And my friend Sarah and I go together on many orders with Rose Girls. Sarah thinks I love 86. Uh, if you don't follow her, you should. She's awesome. And uh, I know Sarah, it's got to be a top vendor for Sarah because um, Sarah has slowed down her purchasing, but she's still purchasing for Rose Girls. So that's that just tells you something. Thing that I have found with Rose Girls and that I've heard many other people say about Rose Girls is less is more. So, um, you know, like and the cure time and so on and so forth. As far as cure time now, the thing is with me is because I order or place an order with Rose Girls, get it sent to my friend or a friend of mine and I will go together, get sent to my friend and then sent back to me. Everything's cured by the time I get it because generally it's about two months or so after it's probably been poured before it was like sent out and then mailed to me and so on, like a month and a half or so. So I feel like Rose Girls for me, it's pretty much cured by the time I get it. But most people will say like, yeah, two months. Um, I've actually purchased Rose Girls from D Stashes and, and they were older wax and it's done phenomenal. So there you go. Um, I haven't had Rose Girls for over a year, so I can't say, I can't make uh, assumptions on what it would be like in a year from now. All right. So I'm going to just show you here. Now this chunk bag in particular is light as a feather, stiff as a board. And I love that she puts the scent notes down below. So leaves, amber, sandalwood, and toasted marshmallows. So I do enjoy that. Now these bags here, I, th uh, I can't remember the exact prices. I want to say they're about $12 or $11 American. This is a huge chunk. This chunk in particular, I would probably cut into two. Um, there are some chunks that are all sorts of different sizes, but there are chunks that are bigger than others. Um, I can even chop it up even more if you wish. Um, this is a wonderful blend. This was one, um, in, in the summertime that Jenny poured again and it is I know it's a favorite among so many youtubers as well as just the wax community in general so I was happy to get my hands on that so this is just like their um, their bags like their their cube bags so that's just an idea so it'll, I'll show you more of these in a moment but I'm just gonna put this to the side and then we actually have mini melters so what I was just mentioning a few moments ago where like on the website they she always has mini melters for sale like always 
And for example, I just pulled a bag of peppermint. You'll see more in the, in the future here. These are great on their own, but they're also great to blend because as you can see like that pie or that muffin, a lot of things are blended and it, she doesn't necessarily pour them that regularly in that blend. So these mini melters are great to make your own blends as well as try to match some of the blends that you've maybe previously fell in love with uh, from Jenny, but haven't had that blend in a long time. So for example, these are mini melters, nice little square, perfect. You can split, if you wanted to do like three or four cents uh, mixed together, you can split this in half. So it's not super, super large and you can mix them up together. Um, I pulled peppermint out because I believe Jenny has the best peppermint um, to my nose anyway. I, I find her peppermint to be top notch, my absolute favorite. Um, so yeah, anyway, there you go. That's mini melters and I believe those are $7 a bag. And then these are like muffins. They're like muffins, they are muffins. Okay, so this in particular, let's see if I can pull this out here. This is Fruit Loop Smoothie Cone, and they come in packs of two muffins, or cupcakes, or whatever you want to call it. Look how colorful this is. And this is a blend. Now, it says Fruit Loops Smoothie Cone, so it's probably like a Fruit Loops oil and smoothie um, ice cream cone. I don't know. I mean, she you can check, check on her website. But these are great. Um, I like splitting these into fours and getting four great melts from it. Uh, so I think this package here... She does a limited amount of these per order or pre-order. So they're harder to get your hands on, but they are really, really good. So with that said, um, I would highly recommend these are great ways to try for blenders. And then again, like when, if you know you like it, maybe you can try to make it with those mini melters I just talked about. Um, I've purchased a few of these. You'll see more of these very shortly inside the, the bin. All right. And before we get into the... Oh, sorry. Yes, I'm watching... Real Housewives of Atlanta reruns. Oh yeah, that's right, guilty pleasure, right? And then these are her pies, her amazing pies. Now there's only two chunks of this left. I gave one chunk away to a friend and I've melted or chopped up, actually no, I used the whole thing, I think, of October's. This is October, so I'm not quite sure. Oh yeah, here it is. October's is green apple. Macintosh apple and lavender apples and oak. So these are the pies. Now there's a hat. They she sells them in half pie form, which means four of these per this bag. Um, it's a lot of wax. She generally in her in her uh, pre orders maybe only does about three, maybe four blends in these pie scents because I mean it is a lot. There's a lot of wax. I really like October, so let's put it that way. It smells beautiful. Again, I believe this is a uh, sought after scent uh, when she last poured it. So these pies are $20, which you think $5 per slice. Again, a little goes a long way. I feel like that is a lot of wax, yes, but definitely worth it. All right, now let's move on to what's inside the bin. Okay, so kind of section this off, but I do have some items here pulled over to the side because they're items I'm actually gonna be pulling for my November melting basket. Um, so anyway, we'll start here. So I'll just show you all of these bags that I have. I think they're in the center, but anyway. I have Winter Mermaid, which is peppermint shaving cream and Gilligan's brew. I have every single one of those items on as mini melters. So once I go through this, I'm going to try my hand at blending this myself. Hello Gorgeous, which was another a very popular blend. Bergamot, peppermint, pink sugar, and lavender. So that's the chunks there. And I haven't melted this one either yet. This is in my box for November. Cider, oh sorry, what's it called? Yeah, Cider Lane, pumpkin cheesecake, and vanilla ice cream. So that is the chunks there. Now I think they're over here actually. So I also have the infamous not or Nilla Strawberry Noel, beautiful, beautiful blend. I see why it's so popular. My favorite, Blackberry Ginger Ale Fizzy Pops. Oh, I love this one, so I'm saving this for summertime. I've melted a, a couple of these now. Peep, Peeps Cake Fluff Puffs, very, very nice. Look at the color. 
Alice Gone Wild, which is Honeydew Cotton Candy Frosting Mango and Gilligan's Brew. Gilligan's Brew is a coconut blend, just so you know. All right. Pear Pleasure. Pear and Macintosh Apple. Very interesting blend. I really like that. And we have Summer Vibes. Blue Raspberry Lemonade and Strawberry Daiquiri. All right. So then let's go into, I'm just going to show you what I have. I have one slice left of strawberry peeps cake. One slice left of Alice in Slumberland, which is honeydew cotton candy frosting and lavender, which I have all of these again to try to make on my own down the road. I have one last slice from, I purchased this from my friend Sarah in Abra, Abracadabra, which is lavender, the olive branch and lavender cucumber sage. This was amazing. I just have the one left. You don't want to miss anything. That was chucked, chunked up. Don't want to miss anything. Um, all right. And then I'll do what's here. We have two slices of lemon cotton candy ice cream cake which was lovely and the last portion of a pie that i have left is what this one is right here and it is sunset in july blue hawaiian cherry berry punch and satsuma pineapple so that's the pie shapes now let's see if i can get some muffins so i did chop up this muffin so this is what i have left oh no that's was that a slice no this was a slice of um a, the pie that I just showed you. It's a Rose Girl Strawberry Peeps Cake. This is, I melted some last month and the, so this is what I have left over. And this is a muffin, a sliced up a muffin. This is Rose Girl's Rose Girl's Garden, raspberry sauce and vanilla bean noel. And this one, which is so nice. I wish you would make this in a pie. Cool beans, peppermint, lavender, and vanilla bean noel. So all I need to do is get a uh, vanilla bean noel and I can probably blend this up myself, but I'm sure I can figure something else too. This was a blend she just did in her appear over the, over the summertime. And there was proceeds that went to a charity, uh, Sarah's blend, blackberry jam, coffee, and hot fudge brownie. So, and this was to die for. If you love coffee, you would absolutely love that. It's so good. All right, and now to what I have the majority of in my stash, because what I wanted to do again is I wanted to start blending and doing my own creations of different things of, that I've tried in the past or things I just want to blend. So the rest that you see here are mini melters. I'm just going to show you what I have. Absolute coffee, eucalyptus, because I'm getting ready for winter time. Just kind of be proactive. Earl Grey and apple. Cider Lane, No Worries, which is Spearmint, Peppermint, and Eucalyptus, Blackberry Raspberry Jelly Donut, the Olive Branch Type, which is a Lush Type, Clothes on the Line, which is a nice um, laundry scent, like fresh outdoor clothes on the line kind of scent. Fizzy Pops, if you guys have been watching me for a while, you know how much I love my Fizzy. So that is definitely, I purchased more for holding on to for next summer to use as blender. Lambo Leap, which I keep forgetting to write down the scent of descriptions. This is more of a relaxing kind of scent. And Avo Bath, Lush type. I love Avo Bath from Lush. So let's see, we've got Macintosh Madness. Marshmallow Smoothie, Shaving Cream times two, because I really, really love shaving cream, and I love that shaving cream is such a great scent to blend with, too. So there's my second peppermint, another great blender, or great on its own, and like I said before, Jenny's peppermint's my favorite. Raspberry Sauce, Honeydew Lemonade, Serendipity, Tea and Cakes, Sweet Lavender, which is a great blender as well, Honeydew, Blue Hawaiian, saving for the summertime, 
pear. I love pear scents, and this does smell like the Jelly Belly jelly bean in pear. Like it tastes, it smells just like that one tastes. Cotton Candy Frosting, another great blender. And lastly, Gilligan's Brew, Brew, like I mentioned, this is like a coconut blend, it's really nice. So you guys, that is all of my Rose Girls, and um, sort of pan over here, there's those. Then there's these by my remote control, there you go. But yeah, so that is everything I've got, which is tons, and like I say, I, I felt like uh, filming this video because I'm pretty much stocked up with Rose Girls. I'm not gonna go into the pre-order at the beginning of November, I don't know when this is going up, but I decided to stand back from that one and maybe like there wasn't enough sense in that new pre-order that really intrigued me there was a few but not enough to place an order so um you can tell i love rose girls <laughs> all right you guys i'll end this video now just want to let you know uh what i have in my collection for rose girls and kind of how it works with her company all right you guys as always be safe take care and have fun